Hello, welcome back. Sorry, I'm trying to get everything everything ready for our sale. So I am on here a few minutes early and I'm gonna get this pulled up also and see how we go. See how it goes. <laughs> I'm gonna write hello in the chat. Everybody, wait for anybody to show up. And you guys, I will also type in my email address. Um, it will be in the description box below. Um, is that right? Oh, I put a wrong character in there. What the hell? That looks better. Oh, the email is also in the description box below, as well as all the links to the platforms we sell on. I'm going to see, well, wait for, every, wait for, my moderator to show up. She is coming. And find out where our live video is, guys. Here we go. Turn the volume down on this. I don't need to hear that. You guys, so make sure. I see it's popping up, but make sure we are in live chat and not top chat. That is very important. And if you if you would like, before we start our um, sale, you can send me an email. So I already have your information. So in your email, make sure you send me your name, your YouTube name, your email address. And your mailing address that helps too so we have about 64 items to do today and this will be our our mother's day sale you guys will get this stuff before mother's day make sure you have something to drink we have a lot of items to go through today Tammy, again, thank you so much for being here and helping me. Tammy is our moderator today. Tammy will always be our moderator if she is free when we do our live show, uh, live sales. So it's Wednesday, the middle of the work week. I hope everybody is having a wonderful weekend, week, day. Oh my gosh. How's this one starting off? <laughs> oh my goodness. So Tammy is busy putting all the information in. I know it's a lot to read at one time and, and a lot to get to. Uh, sold means you want to purchase the item. Offer up or simply up means you would like to start bidding on the item. You can start bidding as soon as the item is shown, if you so desire. And again, you guys, because everybody's internet speed is different, um, you have to, we have to allow for lag time, and uh, so if you think that you won a bid and then you see that somebody else, we had said somebody else won it, a lot of times it has to be refreshed. So if you go out and then come back in, you, you will see the difference. And that's why it's also very important to be in live chat. Well, so like I said, we got here, we got here early, so we will just chit chat and 
say hello as people come in. Hopefully we get a crowd today. As you know, this is all trial and error. We are just trying to figure out best times to have sale, best days to have sales, what works and what doesn't work. And so far, just getting out there and being on YouTube is the best. Uh oh. I hope you guys can still see me. Are you guys getting a snowstorm? We are. <laughs> are you sick of hearing about these snowstorms? We want warm weather. So I figure our live sale will probably be a couple hours long. And especially once we start chit chat and that always, always turns into a little bit longer. Well, you guys, it is 930. We'll give it a few more minutes. I'm not sure if Tammy is done getting everybody in there or getting everything in there. And, of course, I have Lagertha at my feet, her favorite place to be. No, 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 down. Tammy, you're right. So let's all have fun, be courteous, and be kind. That is the motto, be kind. Yay, done. Are we ready to start? Uh, Tammy, I think it's just you and me right now. Legacy, you want to go outside? You want to go outside before we get started? We should probably do this. And that's what happened. So just enjoy all the stuff in the background. Because they will be up for sale as well. Before girl. And gosh, I just don't know what to do. Should we start or should we wait a little bit longer, Tammy? What do you think? I don't know how long we're going to be able to do this before I have to stop again to let the dog back in. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. So let's go. All right, let's go. Uh, so I have this can. Box jewelry holder. Be sure to share your Facebook page. You guys, um, so I'm going to start this off at $6. This is a black metal tin. There are no maker's marks. So number one, red and black tin. Super clean on the inside. I'm going to have to take my glasses off because we're putting a glare on the computer screen. Again, there are no maker's marks. I'm not really sure. This may have been for tea. And I love them with flowers. I'm not sure what type of flower that is. But it is super pretty. Super pretty. And again, this is a metal tin. Black and red metal tin. And silver. Six dollars. Poppies, you think? I was wondering if they were poppies, but I didn't know if poppies had that many leaves. I was wondering if it was like a, a peony. Let me know. Let me know what you think. This would be a perfect catch-all. Maybe, yeah. Traveling altar tin. I'm going to set this off to the side and we'll do number two. Actually, I probably should have gave you guys some measurements on this, right? 
I have a tape measure. But amongst all this stuff, admit, admit. Anyways, it's five inches, three and a half by five. And I will do the best I can to remember the measure to give you guys measurements. Item number two. Is this egg timer? This pink egg timer, eight dollars. Here's the bottom. Hey guys, this is these are vintage. This has been repaired to hold the hour, the timer on. So it. Oops, we don't need the pen. So we have a windmill. With a little mama rooster. Mama rooster. Oh my goodness. Mama chicken on there. I love. It works. And it says. It has some numbers on the back. It's going to be impossible to see. And also says Germany. My light is terrible. It says Germany. <laughs> so again, number two, eight dollars. Egg timer. I just thought it was super cute. You've been seeing they have modern ones now, and it's very hard to find the vintage ones. Even if it has a repair. So made in Germany. A pink windmill egg timer. Super adorable. Set this one off to the side. We'll give ourselves a little room. I have to move things around in order to get them out. It's like a puzzle. I love that little windmill, Tammy. Like I said, it's so hard for me to decide to decide what I want to keep and what I want to sell. And I love our glasses of any shape, size, color. Doesn't matter. So it was very difficult for me to say, okay, let's sell it. Let's sell it. Okay, so here we have a bell. This is number three. I'm asking $12 for her. Uh, this is Televera Pottery. I'm going to show you the inside. Televera. And Lagertha wants in. So number three, Bell. $12. Look at her face. Isn't she adorable? Her hands are in her apron. The bell is tied on the back. And again, this is Televera pottery. And that was number three. And you have to excuse me again. I have to let Lagatha in. And if there's anything you want to see, just let me know. Come on. That's it. Okay, so that was number three. And we are on number four. Number four. We have this vintage bicycle light. I'm starting, I'm starting this at $12. It has the canister that you fill up. This is how it hooks on your bike. I, it has, it's where you fill it up. 
I don't know much about this except for it is a vintage bike light. And there are just right, made in the USA. It has all sorts of patent dates. Uh, May 7th, 1912 is the earliest one I see. And the latest one is November 28, 1915. And then it says others patents, other patent pending. It's, it's, I love this. It's great. Here's the little sparker, spark wheel. And I don't know. I, I don't know anything about it. Other than it's vintage, it's unique. I have not seen one of these. And I love it. I love it. It will be, it would be great in a display, in a vintage display, a uh, steampunk style. So again, that was number four. Butt plate. I can smell, I can kind of smell the fumes from it too. Or maybe that's what they use to clean the outside of it. But you guys. It is empty. It has nothing in it. Don't worry. Number five, I have a Fenton, a Fenton Amber Hobnail Handkerchief Base. I think they're called Handkerchief Base or Ruffle Top. Do you know, if anybody knows, if, um, are they the same? Ruffle and Handkerchief? Handkerchief? Or is there a difference? I'm new to this, so I really don't know. And I don't have enough books to give me all the information I need. I have some. I have a couple, and I am accumulating them as, as I find them. I keep them. I will not sell them. But some information you just need to get from collectors. So this is number five, $14, Fenton Amber Ruffle Top Base, Hobnail. And we do have... Is that backwards? Well, of course it's backwards, Tracy. I don't know if you can see that. It does say Fenton. I think these are so pretty. We have a few Fenton pieces. These, I forgot my flowers and the fairy lights, but you guys... These are awesome if you want to, for Mother's Day, for flowers, fairy lights. You can put makeup brushes in there, paint brushes. You can even use it for a succulent if you so desire. I I love, I love Benton, but I love, the, I just love the colored glass, all of them. Maybe I'm just a glass snob and like all beautiful glass. Okay, so we're going to set this one off to the side. No, we'll put this back over here, out of the way. So again, that was number five, Fenton Amber Vase. Now, number six, I have a stack of Fiesta plates, small Fiesta plates. I have to get to them. I'm sorry for reaching over, you guys. Stretch. I'm so going to end up losing it. Got it. Okay. So I have a stack of Fiesta plates. Now I have these listed on all of our sites, individually priced for sale. But today you can get the whole stack for $26.00. And this is number six in each. How many plates do we have? Two, four, six. We have seven plates. I've been looking for the purple, the lilac. They're so hard to find. But I love these. I believe because it is um, the shape of the F that these are the vintage ones. I love the lime green. Uh, 
um, orange cantaloupe. I really don't know. I'm sure Fiesta. I'm sure they have a total different color name for the for this color. Probably persimmon or something like that. But there are no chips and cracks. So we have two of the lime green. Two orange. And here's the back. Doing a great job there, Tracy. Showing them that. <laughs> we have a teal. Again, no chips or cracks. This is what we have left of the Fiesta. Oh my gosh, you guys, we had so much Fiesta. Big plates, little plates, saucer, teacup saucer plates, yellow. I love this color, yellow. Sometimes people are just looking uh, to, you know, maybe they broke one. So if you would like one individually as well, let me know. We can sell them individually as well. And this is a very pretty blue. I love this blue as well. So again, you can have the whole set for $26. Or if you would like to do them individually, just send me an email. I'd be happy to help you out. And now I have to find somewhere to put these. So I will be right back. Coffee break. And I will mark that off because before you know, I'll be back doing them all over again. We're getting, hmm, we're on number seven. And of course I have stuff in it, so I'm going to try to move them without showing you what they are. I hope you didn't see those. Okay. Like I said, coffee break. And that is extremely hot. You guys, don't bring your tongue at home. Holy smokers. Number seven, Pyrex Bowl. Eight dollars. Um, I don't know the pattern. It is blue and white. So this is, oopsies. <laughs> Number seven, eight dollars. Pyrex Bowl. And it has a little dust in it. It's a little dust on the bowl. In the bowl. So Pyrex, number 15 on the bottom, 401 in the corner. And it says all the important information. For oven and microwave, no stove top or broiler corning. I just, I love the blue and white. Um, we've had luck selling these smaller Pyrex bowls on eBay. And before I put it on there, I thought we'd go ahead and put it in our sale. And you just never know. Somebody, maybe somebody's looking for this side bowl. Did I give you a price? Of course I did not give you a price. Pyrex bowl, $8. And you, you guys, do not be afraid to send an offer. If you do not like the prices, send me an offer. We love offers. And also, if you know the pattern on here, please let me know. Again, yes, it has gone through somebody's dishwasher. But it will never, ever, ever be tormented like that again. I promise. It'll be in good hands from here on out. It's probably not a good place to put that, but we're going to put it back over there anyways. Number eight. Oh, what's going on? No editing. <laughs> not on live. So number eight is this red bug base. $12.
red and black, no maker's mark, no chips or cracks, super clean. It's just, it's pretty. I love the red and black. And the blaze. So this is number eight, $12. Red, excuse me, red and black bud base. Yep, I wish I wish to have a signature signed somewhere, but no, unfortunately. It is super pretty though. For being red and black, it's kind of dainty. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorites. I wonder if we should do it now. One of your personal favorites. Well, I'm going to show you one of my personal favorites. Okay? And it, I, I really didn't want to sell these. But I know I say it on every single one. Are these three? I have three of these. Three little pixies. And two of them are lazy. As in sleeping. Let me get a better shot for you. So I have three pixies. Garden pixies. This little fella lays down. Look at that face. And I am looking $18 for all three of these fellas. Look at his hands behind his head. This fella is also laying down. I love the pink and the green. Not to mention their cute little faces. And this is the one that seems to be doing all the work. Um, his foot has damage. He has a broken foot. There are no maker's marks on any of these. Some gold fleck in his paint. So again, this fella has damage. He has a broken foot. But I love him all the same. They're old. They have crazy on all three pieces. Um, This piece. has not been repaired, but he has a little chip in his paint on the ear. These are so cute in a plant. A fairy garden if you would like, but I don't think I'd want to put these outside. Now this fella, um, I don't know if you can see, but right here is a crack, and he has been glued back together. So his leg has been repaired. But what a beautiful job, a repair job. What a beautiful repair job on him. It took me a long time to find the repair. And here, his ears are just fine. The tip of his hat is fine. And here's his backside. And they're adorable, like I said, because they're pixies, for one. And because they're pink and green. Pink and green is so cute together. So again, that was number nine for $18. You should get three of her favorites. You're so right. I love them so much. I love pixies, period. 
garden pixies, little fairies, whatever you want to call them. And I think they're they're like good luck. Pretty sure they're good luck. Oh my gosh, I forgot that was hot. <laughs> okay, so number 10. I have this Fenton Blue Ashtray. Yes, it was in our one of our other sales as a sale item. Um, everything in that sale was on was on sale. These are no longer on sale. We are just having a live sale. <laughs> okay, so the, did that make sense? Number 10, Fenton Blue Ashtray. It's a single ashtray, personal size. There are no maker's marks, no chips or cracks. All the little hobs are in perfect condition. They're not chipped, so you're not going to cut yourself. And I have this for $18. You guys, don't be afraid to send an offer if you do not like the price. This is gorgeous. You do not have to use these as ashtrays. You can put it in your bathroom. It could be a soap dish. It could be in your bathroom to get for your jewelry when you're taking a shower, washing your hands, in your guest bathroom, your guest bedroom. It is gorgeous. And if you think outside the box, the options are endless, endless. And it's a great incense burner, too. If you have a cone incense, you can put it right there. If you have a stick incense. And I have a ton of citronella incense sitting around. I should have so prepared for this sale, right? So, again, number 10, Fenton Ashtray, Number 11 is some California pottery. Oh my gosh. This little bunny pulling a cart. He still has a sticker. Rio, Rio Hondo. Is that how you say that? Let me look. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you say Rio Hondo. You're never going to be able to see it on there, but it is. California pottery. Look at his. He definitely had a good Easter, huh? What do you think? <laughs> I love that little derpy face and smile. So here's the bottom. In the back. There, if I can, if you can see, there are a couple little cracks right here. But it's not all the way through. And again, his California pottery, and I never gave you a price, huh? Twelve dollars. I am so sorry. I'm horrible at this. Number eleven, twelve dollars. California pottery. Real Hondo. They're collectors, so some people type in California pottery. Some people will type in Real Hondo. So, see that one. You guys listen. Oh my god. The batteries. The batteries are dying in my clock. It sounds terrible. <laughs> and I think it's even behind time now. A few minutes. So I'm going to have to get that fixed. Really sorry about the dying clock. <laughs> so again, number 11. California Pottery. Uh, Twelve dollars. If you are not happy with the price, send me an offer. Where am I going to put it? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Over here. Number twelve. We have this little clown. Look at that face. I'm a sucker for clowns. I'm a sucker for clowns. Look, if you can't tell, I have clowns in my decor. I have, yeah, I have clowns everywhere. So we have number 12 for $12. Yeah. 
he was in over scuffle. And on the bottom it says Sophia Ann. Oh my gosh. Did I bring the magnifying glass today, you guys? I sure did. Especially for Sophia Ann. New York, New York. Made in... can't believe it took me that long to figure that one out. Made in Taiwan, you guys. But it's that phase. Mm -hmm. He's super cute. I love him. So, number 12 for $12. Oh, let me show you the back side. No chips or cracks. This hat is in good condition still. Love those little boxing gloves. Are they called are they called clowns still or are they called um bullfighters? Probably clowns. I don't know. Anyways, that's a rabbit hole we don't need to go down. <laughs> Number 13. Are we ready for number 13? Okay, so I have these owl salt and pepper shakers. $12. No plugs. You can see the holes. Super clean. Here's the back. Uh, who doesn't love owls? They are great just in your decor and they know things because they're out they know things so number 12 oh my gosh no number 13 12 dollars owl salt and pepper shakers i don't see any makers marks mm, cute little face look you can have your little feet painted on Their eyes kind of, <laughs> they got some funny eyes, huh? Owl, owl collectors will love these. You know what? I don't collect owls, but I love them. I'm drawn to them. They're very cool looking. It's probably not a word I should be using, right? Cool. So that was number 13 for $12. I'm going to set these off to the side. And again, don't forget the email is in the description box below as well as randomly in the chat. Number 14, elephants. These are iridescent elephants. I have them for, they are individually listed on all of our sites. I'm selling them today together, $12. Why is cool not cool anymore? I don't know. I, because it's just not, I don't think it's one of the new words they use today. <laughs> so the, here's the, oops, here's the uh, bottoms. Elephants, $12. These are an iridescent elephant. This little guy is laying down. So um, a white iridescent. No maker's marks, no chips or cracks. These may have even been a hobby piece. I don't know, but they're super cute. Like I said, no chips or cracks. I don't think they are a hobbyist piece because there are sticker remnants on the bottoms of both of these. But they're elephants, and they're awesome. I'm not going too fast for you, Tammy, am I? Because I can slow down. I can chit-chat more. Yeah, I made you spell iridescent. Oh, my goodness. If You you know what? I don't know if you caught my last Dollar Tree um, 
DIY. I had a heck of a time spelling friend one handed. It was crazy. I had to put, I was trying to put two F's in and everything. <laughs> so check that one out. So you guys, if the words are misspelled wrong, I'm the one who listed them. If everything's spelled right, it probably wasn't me. <laughs> okay, so number 15 are these mini brandy snifters. I have two of them. $15. I love the satin, satin glass. No maker's marks. No chips or cracks. Super cute. Now, you don't have to use these as brandy snippers. You can use them for bourbon shots. I'm joking. <laughs> you can use these to hold your, well, again, pencils, paint brushes, makeup brushes. They're pretty. I love the blue and the white, uh, the clear satin. Did I say blue? Green. Green, green. These are green. Green grandma. And if you truly want, you could use them as tea light candle holders or battery operated tea light candle holders. Number 16, we have a yellow ashtray. This is a vintage. Um, I have this at $15. Pacific Stoneware, 1968. I love the, uh, the, the yellow. And there's no chips or cracks. And again, you guys, you do not have to use this as an ashtray. <laughs> you didn't catch it because it's me. I know. It's, isn't it terrible? So here we have a purple. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just joking. Here we have a yellow ashtray. And again, this is USA Pottery Pacific Stoneware. 1968, if you would like to see that again. Okay, so the next ones I'm showing, number 17, these are a set of two blue bud bases. Uh, maybe you know more about them. Here we go. So I have these listed for $22 for the set. Now, you guys, let me show you the bottoms. These say gift craft, not in our code. You see there is a G in the middle. It does have the mold number. These are beautiful. There is some green in the leaves. A little, what the hell? A little chip right here. Oops, let me keep this in frame. And here's the second one. So we have these at $22 for the set. These are vintage gift craft uh, bud bases. Now, um, what I'm saying, when I say bud bases, and I'm like, because when these were looked up, they were also um, listed as a drinking mug. It is glazed. Not sure. 
really don't think I would want to drink out of these. I think these would really, really, really are butt vases. I'm not sure on the date of these as well. We couldn't find any that said the gift craft sticker on the bottom. They all have the Inarco. So if you guys know or have any more information on these, the set is gorgeous. Yeah. Blue. The, the blue is beautiful. Let me set these off to the side somewhere. Well, I don't know where. <laughs> I said right here. Hopefully without damaging anything else. Number 18, an elephant. We have another iridescent. Wait a minute, is this one iridescent? No, this is just a white elephant. Now this might be TJ Maxx or Marshall's made in, uh, made in China sticker on the bottom. Some little felt uh, protectors for his feet to protect your countertops and table. Now, you guys, I don't know if I can get it close enough, but there is crazing on him. But I think they, he's modern and he needs to look old. I have him at $16. Number 18, $16. This would look awesome sitting on your hearth, your fireplace hearth. Or as a, you know, a doorstop. It's not super heavy. It is under the two pound weight, but I mean, how cute would that be, right? And again, no maker's marks. Well, there is a made in China sticker on it, so. If it survives grandma games being rough, Okay, so number 19 is in Otagiri. Otagiri. Vase, bud vase. Typical Otagiri. And I have this at $16. And let me show you the bottom. I love the bird. The Pussy Willows, it's so springy. Spell it. O-T-A-G-I-R-I. O-T-A-G-I-R-I. <laughs> I had to delete it and respell it. So this is a six and a half inch bud base by two inch. No chips or cracks, you guys. I love the gold ring on it. And there's little flecks of gold coloring in it also. So again, $16 for the Otagiri base. So pretty. And I love that it is a uh, antique light. We move this out of the way. And a couple of these elephants that are taking up a lot of space, you guys. So bear with me. Give me some grace. I'm coming back. There. Hi. You're welcome, Tammy. And thank you. You're the best. 
You really are. Okay. So it's hard to read my own writing sometimes. But number 20, dog shakers. So these are salt and pepper shakers. I have hairs flying in my eye. Um, this one. Look at that little tongue. Isn't it just the cutest? And here's the second one. So two dog salt and pepper shakers. They do still have their stoppers. Uh, no maker's marks. No chips or cracks. And uh, $12 for the dog salt and pepper shakers. Now they're um, cold paint. Still looking awesome. Because usually that red is gone by now. Somebody took very good care of these when they um, when they washed them. So again, number twenty, number twenty, salt, dog salt and pepper shakers, twelve dollars. No chips or crap. Number 21 is this little pig planter. Check this face out. Um, we'll just go down here with my lighting. Probably worse for me than what it is for you. So, this is a little a planter. Oh my gosh. Pig planter. $12. Succulent holder. Again, you know, the options are endless. Paint brushes, makeup brushes. Um, her little tail has a chip on it. Here's the bottom. And another sweet close-up of her face. No maker's marks. Um, and the only damage is on her little tail. Um, actually, that might not even be a chip, truthfully. I think that's, it's not. It's supposed to be her tail curly cube. So no chips or cracks. And I love how the feet, how they have it painted, like her little hooks. Yeah. And look at that butt. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> It's adorable. Twelve dollars, pig planter, air plant vessel, succulent vessel, anything. You guys, the options are endless. Number twenty-two. We have some more salt and pepper shakers. These ones are elephant salt and pepper shakers. Again, twelve dollars. These are stamped Japan on the bottom. You're probably not going to be able to see that. No stoppers, but you guys can, you can pick stoppers all up, all over the internet. You can pick them up anywhere. Um, here's the top of the elephant's little stand. It's a little circus elephant. Super cute. $12. No chips or cracks. They do need stoppers. They are adorable. The eyebrows. Oh, you like the eyebrows on that little elephant? On the elephant. Oh my gosh, the pig planter. <laughs> I think some people have. I think some people have them. I myself am not an eyebrow person. You get what you get. They are what they are. Again, here we are back to the elephant, the circus elephant, salt and pepper shakers. And again, you do not even have to use these salt and pepper shakers. You can just display them for the beautiful elephant that she is. Number 23. 
number 23. Oh my gosh. I just know I'm going to hit the wrong chord and something's going to come unplugged. So number 23 is this beautiful Fenton Angel. She does not have her jewel. So I have her for $16. With her Fenton stickers? Or is it possible that not all the Fenton Angels that look like this had the um, birthstone jewel? Because I've seen a few of them out in the wild with no stone at all. So maybe some were made without a stone? Do you know? If anybody knows, please, please let me know. Because I have not encountered any with a stone. I see them on eBay and other sites, other platforms. So anyway, beautiful Fenton Angel. No chips or cracks. And yes, she does still have her stickers. And don't be afraid to make an offer. And if you would rather do it privately, send me an email. I'm a sucker for Fenton. Can't help it. So again, that was number 23. Fenton Angel. Number 24. Are these little glass canisters? Look at the flowers. I have two, so you get a set of two. I taped this one. I, I'm not, unless you really want me to, I will untape it to show that there are no chips or cracks or damage. These are perfect in your bathroom if you want to put cotton balls in there q-tips no makers marks there is it looks to be like a number 11 stamped on the bottom here's the lid i like how the lid is faceted instead of rounded Um, no chips or cracks. And this is a molded piece. So you can see the line marks from when it was molded together. There you go. And again, there are two of these. And I never gave you a price, huh? No, of course I didn't. You're still waiting for that. $16. I love the green and the yellow. The flowers and the bows. This one is the one that's taped together. So you get both of them. Super clean. Or these could be super awesome on a coffee bar. Summertime coffee bar. You could decorate with these in lemons. Yep, it would be super pretty. You could put your cream and sugar in here. Uh, but there is no spot to hold a spoon. They're just glass canisters. Unless I smash them together. They sound loud. I hope they don't sound that loud to you guys. So, number... We have so much more to go through, you guys. We have like 60 some odd items, so... I hope you plan on sticking around. And maybe you will actually find something you're interested in. So number 25. You can enjoy the beauty of this while I'm taking care of my copy. An art glass bowl. There are no maker's marks. Or a uh, candle, tea light candle holder. Trinket dish. Catch all. There are no maker's marks. I do not see any seam lines anywhere. So I believe this is a, a blown piece. I will, the bottom is so polished. Ooh, careful, Chase. Don't break anything. So I have um, $16 on the art glass bowl. No chips or cracks. No maker's mark. And it is a chunky, a chunky 
glass. I'm telling you, you like those canisters, Tammy? Uh, I call them canisters. I love the little, the applied flower and ribbon. Great um, for storing spices if you want. I mean, they're not airtight seal. Again, I'll show you this one more time. Tammy, I think we like a lot of the same things. So item number 26 is a, a goofus glass. Is that what you call them, goofus glass? This is green and clear. I do not know the, the maker. It just says hand wash and not dishwasher safe. But if you can see the little heart design, the pattern is so pretty. The, um, there is a little bit of wear on some of the green. You like way too much of it. <laughs> so I have this one also for $16. Number 20, $16. There are no maker's marks. No chips or cracks. And there's just a little bit of the green the flash paint coming off. I It's so pretty for green. Because not everybody wants a dainty pink, yellow, or purple dish. Some people want a green one. Okay, so item number 27. I have five glasses here. And I lost the information I had written down about these. So here's an elephant, here's a giraffe. I don't think these have gone through a dishwasher at all. So let me give you a price on these. I have these right now, $28, there's five of them. Don't be afraid to send an offer. I forgot to bring my little stand again. So elephant, giraffe. Look at this zebra. These are in such wonderful condition. Um, one of them does have the maker's mark in the bottom. I will do the best I can to find it. Here we have the tiger. Now, you guys, I have not. This is obviously missing um, a piece. I can't remember how many pieces were in the set. Maybe there were seven. But most of the ones I found online don't have the blue tiger. Oops. So that was number four. And we have a leopard. I believe that's a leopard, right? Look at those nails. <laughs> and I know one of these has... L. So these are Libby. On the bottom, there is an L right here. Then it is upside down. Right there. Some of them don't have that L at all. And some of them are very, so lightly imprinted that you can hardly see it at all. So these are a set of five Libby carnival glasses. Um merry-go-round glasses. I really don't know the exact name for the set. There are six in the set total. I couldn't remember if it was six or why would there be seven, right? That was kind of weird. So we're missing one of them. I love these. And again, the price is $28. And they have never, they don't look like they have ever gone through the dishwasher. I love these. Here, do you want to see the elephant again? Super adorable. I fell in love when I saw these. We found these. Oh my gosh, 
maybe Angelica. I don't remember, but I love them. I love, love, love them. I love that satin glass look, Libby Zoo. The next item I have, you guys ready for this? This is one of my favorites too. They're all my favorite. So look at this Murano flower basket. Now I don't know if this is, some people say these baskets were like wedding baskets, but uh, I, I don't know. I believe this is an end of day glass. There are no maker's marks. But check out that, those feet. Just the artwork that went into making, the craftsmanship that went into making this. So I love this Murano flower basket. Um, $22, I was looking at the wrong item. So I have this one just at $22. These are beautiful Mother's Day gifts. And it has its little uh, embellishment on top. I thought it was a bird at first, but yeah. Want to see the inside? I love those colors. And it's hard to see, but you can tell there's the poncho mark or scar, poncho scar. If that's how you prefer to call it. Aren't all those colors just gorgeous? Way up in here, some blue and yellow. So again, Murano basket, art glass basket, $22, hand glow. Murano, yes. Uh, you, M-U. like that. We'll set that off to the side. So again, that was number 28. Murano flower basket. Number 29 is this Fenton top hat. I have this for $16. This is an amber um, well, actually, it is not. It is a little more marigold color, right? Is that what you would call it? This is a daisy and button pattern. Top hat. These are, these are so pretty. So simple. Benton top hat, $16. And I have it as amber, but that is not amber glass. This is more of the amber. So $29, Fenton Top Hat, $16, Daisy and Button Pattern. No chips or cracks, no maker's marks. And I don't know the year these were made. So if you guys do, please let me know. I have a set of bud bases. Clear with silver inlay. $16 for the set. Look at those gorgeous flowers. They have silver around the top and around the bottom. And keep I'm handing it to you. Oh my goodness, I'm handing it to you. So, um, I don't see any maker's marks, no signature, but the silver is beautiful still, you guys. It is in wonderful condition. 
So number 30, $16. These may be, um, these would be perfect for on a wedding, you know, on a table you know, in a wedding. Uh, seven inches. Or maybe, maybe you're doing an anniversary, silver anniversary. Well, I don't know. These are very pretty or just very pretty with a flower in them. So set of two, $16. And you're right, you know, that might be marigold in color, that top hat. I'm going to write that in there. Because it was definitely not amber. So again, we have uh, number 30, two clear and silver inlay bud bases. I wish these had a signature because I would like to say, oh, this could be Dorothy Thorpe, but I don't know. I know they're very pretty, very, very pretty. Is another fancy piece. I think I showed this in one of my previous sales. This is a Fenton Silver Crest Compote candy dish, fruit dish. Um, no maker's marks on this one. So, milk glass Fenton Silver Crested. Uh, $28. No chips or cracks. You guys, this is beautiful. Six inches tall and about eight and a half inches from the widest point. There we go. I'll set that there for a moment. I have somebody trying to get in touch with me over here. So you enjoy the beauty and I'm going to respond. All right. So again, Ben Silvercrest Candy Dish Compote. Oh my gosh. Fruit dish, M&M &M holder, Skittles holder, gummy bear holder. Just kidding. This is beautiful. $28. And don't be afraid to send me an offer. It is Mother's Day coming up, so I feel giving. I feel like being in the be kind mood. So if you are interested, send me an offer. Number 32, I showed this in a previous sale as well, but um, he is adorable, and I thought I would bring him back out. Humpty Dumpty Tea Kettle, $16. I have him taped together. I, I will untape him to show you. Let me give you a close-up. He's just the stinking adorable. And the bottom for decorative purposes only, not microwave safe. But you guys, how stinking adorable, Humpty Dumpty. And again, $16. Let me try to work with this tape here. Here's the bottom. Bottom of the lid and the inside. No chips or cracks. Just adorable. 
He's just adorable. So that was number 32, Humpty Dumpty Tea Kettle, $16. Number 33, I love that Humpty Dumpty tea kettle. You know, if you're um, maybe a daycare center, you could just set it up on shelves for display, Humpty Dumpty nursery. So, again, number 33 is this Fenton Heart Jewelry dish hand painted $16 now there is some chips on here some little tiny ones Let's see if I can right here know if you can see that little chip but it's right there's one And when you run your finger around the inside lightly, you can feel where somebody would just set, set the top down a little too rough. So again, the lid is in perfect condition. No chips or cracks. Hand painted. And all the information is on the back. Hand painted with the signature. Terrible. And on the outside, it has a pink or a purple colored hue. I don't know if you can see that very well. Probably not showing up in my camera all that great. And here's the bottom of the bottom. The bottom bottom. I like the textured edge. Oh, just there. There's the chip right there. And I love the texture sides. So again, Fenton Heart, $16, hand painted. Jewelry box, trinket holder, whatever you want. She's pretty and dainty. Number 34. Is a milk glass kitten plate. I have this for $15. I love these. No maker's marks, no chips or cracks, but these are adorable. And a lot of times you see them with a painting down here too. These are cute. So I have a hanger also. Uh, I don't think this is the one that goes with it, but I will send it with it. Uh, $15 cap plate. No maker's marks and no chips or cracks. It is the cold paint. It is very old. It's coming off. It's super adorable. Number 35 is a vase. It has two handles. Hand painted. Artist signature on the bottom. Down here at the bottom. I have this for $22. This is made in... Oh my gosh. I want to say Belgium, but it is so very hard. You can only see a couple of the uh, letters. But I believe it says Belgium. 
I love the, I don't know if you can see the color, the blue, the green, yellow, teal. Again, hand painted, double handled. Uh, these have not been repaired, you guys. But um, right here. Can you see that little chip? Tiny little chip. So again, Belgium vase, $22, hand painted. Beautiful. And it is signed. Number 35. Number 36 is a Westmoreland um, candy dish, compote. Look at that color. The satin finish. There is a maker's mark on the bottom. So uh, $22. There is a W down in there. It's very hard to see. No chips or cracks. This is beautiful. Beautiful piece of glass. Again, number 36. No chips or cracks. Wish I could show you that W in there, but it is there. So number 36, $22. Set this out of the way. Gently. And number 37, we are still going. So these look like little mustard and relish holders. And I have these for $16. They have stickers on the bottom. Let me do this better for you guys. Hold on. First of all, we do have a holder for a spoon. And there's the bottom. I think it says am with a crown. So that's why, because of the spoon, I believe, and it's green, I believe this one would be for relish. And this one may be mustard. No chips or craps. And I just think the flower is cute. Well, I think they're both adorable as they are. But I think the flower, <laughs> the flowers are everything. So again, number 37, $16. I'll look and see if it says anything more. And I'm pretty sure that's a crown on top of the amp. AMP. I don't know what AMP is. I'm running out of places to put things, you guys. Number 38. This is a purple base encased, purple encased base. It has a hand on it. Can you see that? $22. There's the 
uh, pontal scar on the bottom. Ruffle top. And is look, Evie has a ring. The hand is wearing a ring. The details, fingernails. I think it's I think it's cute. I think it's super cute. And it's purple, so of course I think it's cute. So $22 purple vase, hand vase. Yep, I'm just trying to figure out how in the world. I wonder if they had somebody actually hold that when they modeled it, designed it. You want you want to know the length, the height? Nine inches, three. So three inches by nine inches. And we will go right on to number thirty-nine. which is another vase. We have a lot of vases, a lot of vessels. That coffee is still hot. So number 39, $22, art glass vase. These have flowers on them. And little new leaves. Yes, Tammy, thank you so much. Everyone, please share to your social media, any platform. We do have lots more items to go. This is a slightly swung vase. No maker's marks. No chips or cracks. It's very, very pretty art glass vase, blood vase. Have another Fenton piece right here for you. So number 40, Fenton Silver Crested Candy Dish Compote again. This one is shorter, $28. This one is four inches tall eight inches at its widest. This one is marked Fenton on the bottom. Of course, I'll never get you to see it, but it is marked Fenton. No chips or cracks. Silver crest. Fenton, silver crest. Candy dish. Fruit bowl. Compote. Anything your heart desires. Change holder. Ooh, don't hit any buttons. So that was number 40. $28. Fenton Silver Crested 4 inch tall <laughs> compote. Or candy dish. I really don't know. I need to get some more. Like I said, I need to get some more. Uh, books, vintage books. Are we ready to continue on to the next item? number 41 butterfly mug yes these were just shown recently as well these are vintage butterfly mugs super super clean i don't think they've been used i think they were on display i don't know maybe they're just made to look vintage 
but by the looks of the bottom, um, I think they are vintage. They just have never been used. So a set of butterfly mugs, $22. No chips or cracks. Uh, b and I ink made in China. I'll show you that one more time. I love the butterflies. And same butterfly in the back, but I'll show them to you anyways. The colors are so bold. So these have not gone through a dishwasher ever either. And they never will. Sticking with the butterfly theme, I have a butterfly puzzle box. $18, made in India. Now to open the box, you have to figure the puzzle out yourself. Isn't that beautiful? So you have a butterfly, jewelry holder, trinket dish, a place to hide all your keepsakes, and it's a puzzle box. So somebody has to figure it out before they can even open it. Um, whoopsies. Very pretty. I don't know what type of wood it is. I wish I did. Gorgeous. 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 Butterfly box. Puzzle box. $18. The next item we have. I have to move things out of my way. Hey. is a pink depression glass bowl. This hat is a three-footed bowl. And I have it at $22. I love the fluted edge. There's no maker's marks. No chips or cracks. And again, it has three feet. This is a molded piece of glass, not blown. It's just a pretty pink. Again, number 43, $22. I'm gonna set this one out of the way. Way out of the way. My poor clock. My dying clock. <coughs> we'll just give it a moment. <laughs> oh my goodness. Number 44. This is a little souvenir elephant. I only have one. Salt pepper shaker. Or just little decor. Um, six dollars. He is a redware elephant. Oops. I do need new batteries. I know, and I have a whole bunch of them. I pick batteries up all the time when I go to the Dollar Tree. So this still has this little stopper. And you can see it still has the remnants of Japan on the bottom. No chips or cracks. And this is a souvenir of Wheeling, West Virginia. Isn't it cute? I know souvenir pieces are harder to sell. They're so 
specific. But he's adorable. I mean, he's a black elephant for $6. Why not? And I'll show you the back. Look, you can even see his little curly tail. So again, number 44. Redware Elephant. Shaker, $6. I only have the one. There's only the one shaker. But his cold paint is, is perfect. The red and the white. Perfectly intact. I think he's cute. Super cute. Number 45 are some Fenton candlestick holders. These are a, I don't know if you can see the blue in them, hobnail. These, both of these together, $24. Um, I believe it is called a blue opalescent uh, color. Uh, but again, I could be wrong. So if you know, please, please tell me. I will take all the tips and advice and help I can get. And now, again, all the little hobs seem to be in perfect condition. Because sometimes, you know, they're actually chipped off and very, very sharp. But I don't see any uh, maker's marks, no chips or cracks. Number 45, the set of two Fenton candle stick holders, hobnail, $24. Check that listing. Number 44, um, the elephant, is that the one you want me to check to see if it is correct? Single souvenir salt and or pepper shaker system. Yes, it looks perfect. If this is the one you're talking about. I need to pay more attention to the chat. I know. I love these little opalescent candlestick holders. Tea light candles. I'll set these off to the side and we will grab our next item. Okay, are you ready? So number 46. You're welcome, Tina. Uh, number 46, art glass flower. Now, I've come across a couple of these in my travel. Isn't this pretty? This thing is very, very dainty. And it has a little bit of dust on it. No chips or cracks. It does have some stickers down here made in China. Um, whoops. Um, if there's any cracks underneath anything, it does not look like that. The bottom is perfect. And again, art glass flower, $22. I'm dropping things, hold on. And this flower is. inches long 20 ish inches long like I said I've only come across a couple of these and some of them you can't even touch for the price but 
This one we were able to purchase. Had it around for a while. It took me a long time to decide to finally sell it. Um, do you think it's a, um, a dandelion? I mean, not a dandelion. A uh, daffodil. Does it look like a daffodil or a lily? It doesn't really have the leaves of a lily. So, but anyways, number 46, art glass flower, $22 beautiful and you don't have to worry about it needing water and wilting and dying on your mom grandma or loved one you don't have to water it we'll set this right here for right now number 46 you think it's a day lily i think so too i think you're right it is so pretty so pretty. Number, I'm going to have to walk around and grab this. Number 47. Is this pink swung glass base. Look at all the fingers it has. Like 12. That's like 12 of them. Thing is gorgeous. There's the bottom. And this is number 47, $28. Dollars. It is 17 inches tall and six inches at its widest point. I love this vase. You can see the slight pink in it. Well, no, it is very pink. It is totally very pink. And again, I don't see any maker's marks. Maybe that sunburst has something to do with the maker. Does that mean, is it an anchor hocking? I don't even know. I don't know enough about vintage glass or pottery, but I am learning. And with your guys' help, the learning it makes learning so much easier. So again, $28 for the pink depression glass swung vase. And this flower has been sitting in this vase ever since we purchased them. It's my favorite. I'm going to move this off to the side. Hopefully not disturbing anything. And we will move right along. That was number 47. Correct. Make sure my numbers are right. Uh, number 48. A set of art glass birds, these blue birds. We are selling these together. $22. No chips or cracks. Uh, made in China on the bottom. But you guys, these are adorable. They did a very good job of polishing them and cleaning them up. Number 48, art glass birds. You're right, Tammy. The video does not do that base justice. It needs to have a dark uh, background in order for the the pink and the beauty of it to be seen. I agree. So, yes, set of um, blue art glass birds. I don't know if these are supposed to be together, but I'm going to sell them together. $22. No chips or cracks.
and you can tell they are different. Slightly different around the eyes. We'll move these cuties out of the way and move on to our next item. Our next item is number 49. We're going to do these bases in order. So the first one is this red vase. $22. This is, there we go. It has swirl inside. This is a very pretty red bud vase. Number 49 at $22, six and a half inches tall, three and a half at its widest point. Now this has no maker's marks, no chips or cracks. Um, if you look way down in the bottom, see that? That is not dirt. That is colored glass. And the same colors are right up in here. There's blue, orange, white, yellow. It has almost a slag, slag glass appearance on the inside. It's so pretty. And again, it is no maker's marks. It reminds me of Bryn, but I don't know if that's what it is or not. It just reminds me of that. Next, number 50, is this orange, orange and white bud base. No maker's marks. No chips or cracks. This is so dainty. Very lightweight. Ruffle top. I love the, the orange and white. It has a um, circus tent look to it. So again, the, this is $22, number 50, and it is 8 inches tall. 3 at its widest. I, I have no idea who makes these. It's, it's so pretty. So this is number 50 at $22. You guys, these are beautiful and perfect Mother's Day gifts. Number 51, $22, yellow and white, like these. I love the satiny finish on this one. I love the shape of the bottle, uh, vase. No maker's mark. A little dirty on the bottom. This was a loved. This is perfect for the upcoming season. The color is gorgeous. So number 50. Number 51. Yellow and white bud base. $22. Number 52, also at $22, is this green and white bud base. I love the top. Well, I love all, everything about it. The shape of the bottom <laughs> is unique. It does have um sticker on the bottom, but it's been washed and cleaned so many times really cannot read it. So again, number 52 at $22. And I'm not even going to try to guess at what the sticker says. It's not worth it. Isn't it pretty?
The next item we have is this blue bud vase, $22. It's hard to see that it's blue, but it is blue. Controlled Bolacante bubbles. Very polished bottom. I've not seen any signature anywhere. No maker's marks. So again, number 53, $22. I'm just looking under better light to see if I missed signature anywhere. Again, no chips or cracks. This is so pretty. Blue, blue bubble bud vase. $22. And we have a purple and white fluted bud vase. Number 54, $22. No chips or cracks. This too has a sticker on the bottom and it says, I believe it says made in China. Not really sure. But it is such a pretty purple, purple and white. So again, number 54, $22. Number 55 is the light. I have it plugged in. This is a hydrangea and butterfly lamp. Let me unplug it for you. Oops, I'm sorry. Oh, I have it stuck. Just a moment. Here we go. So, yes, this is electric. You have to plug it in. It has a crackle glass design, bottle brush in the center, wrapped with light. It has extra bulbs attached to it. And let me see if I can plug it in somewhere closer for you guys. I don't think that's going to happen. Here's the back. So where uh, the cord goes in, here's the bottom. So number 55, Hydrangea Light, $24. I'll show you the top so you can see how thick the glass is. So pretty. Yeah, I wish I could see it. It's just not going to reach. <laughs> oh, gosh. I really wish it showed up better. It is a gorgeous light. Gorgeous light. We'll leave that set right there. So again, that was number 55, $24. I love that light also, you guys. Um, hopefully, I can go back and find more of those or some like it. Fingers crossed. Moving right along. Number 56 are some heart-shaped measuring spoons. Four dollars. So 
these are a perfect thank you gift. I'm not even going to open them up. But number 56, $4. Heart-shaped measuring spoons. They're so cute. The top one says, a pinch of patience. I'm going to try to open this. Oops. Let's see what they say. So the top one says, a pinch of patience. Oh my gosh. A dash of kindness. A spoonful of laughter. Oh my gosh. A heap of love. You guys, these are so cute. So this is a tablespoon. Here's the teaspoon, um, a teaspoon of laughter. Oh my gosh. What's that say? Oh yeah, a dash of kindness. And a pinch of patience. I had no clue that that's what they said. I thought it was like a teaspoon and eight, a quarter and a table. Right. Not what I expected at all. Super adorable. And they don't fit in there like they did. Why does that happen, you guys? <laughs> yep. Yeah, uh huh. So they're not fitting in. What I do. Yep, first, so anyways, that's them. Beautiful heart shaped measuring spoons with awesome little sayings on them. I got sidetracked. Hold on. Sidetracked. So that was heart shaped spoons, $4. Yes, measuring spoons. Number 57, I showed this the other day as well. I know Tammy's going to like this. This is one of her favorites as well. Um, blue Mountain Pottery Jug, $22. This blue, green, black glaze is gorgeous. Here's the bottom. You see the redware? Give those to your favorite cook or baker. Grandmas would love these, but also moms. Yes. Put it together with a rolling pin, maybe, or all the stuff for your favorite cookies. Oh, my gosh. Yes, you can. You can go to the Dollar Tree, maybe buy an oven mitt and put a cookie. You can buy a thing of cookie mix and stuff that in there as well. Oh, my gosh. Rolling pin, cookie mix, measuring spoon. It's a good idea. Uh, so, again, Blue Mountain Pottery Jug, $22. These are great if you need a jug, if you have a lot of plants. Hold on. Let me, let me tell you where I'm going with this. If you have a lot of plants and you don't want to carry your jug all the way around, maybe it's a pain in the butt. Sometimes it's nice to have mini jugs in different rooms of your house. That's what I do. I have multiple jugs. Almost every room of the house. So again, number 57 at $22. No chips or cracks. No maker's marks. But Blue Mountain Pottery. Oh, I should have grabbed that while I was over there. So number 58. This is another one of my favorites is a chip and dip bowl with the hanger, yes. Um, no, no chips or cracks, no maker's marks. You guys, I, I just love that. The line ribbed, I would call it ribbed. I don't know if that's really what it is. Mid-century modern decoration. It's so pretty and you don't even you don't have to use it for chip and dip 22 dollars 
And I have it listed, listed as an amber chicken dip set. Tammy, I know that jug is one of your favorites. I saved it towards the end. I love the color combination together. So again, that was number 58 at $22. And number 59 are these wood corn cob trays. Here's a corn tray. We have five of them. Um, these are kiln dried monkey pot. Now this one is has a white. Maybe this was the top one and it is sun bleach. But you guys, so we have five of these. Um, number 59, $12. When I come across them, when I first start, when these this listing first went up, I only had two, two of the monkey pod corn holders. But as I find them, I add them to the listing. That's why they are slightly different. But there are five for $12. These larger ones don't have any stickers or maker's marks on the bottom, but they they really, they look like monkey pod. They look just like all the other monkey pod pieces we have. So again, number 59. I am selling these all together. Five pieces for $12. And... They are not a matching set. They just, as I find them, I add them. $12 for all five. Um, I'm seeing empty spots on my list, and um, I'm looking up, and I'm seeing pieces that I didn't show. So, number 60, did I show this one? The green, the Fenton milk glass with the emerald crest. Tammy, do you remember me doing this one? I don't remember this one. So number 60, Fenton Emerald Crest dish. And $22. There is no maker's mark that I can see. But again, this is a uh, Fenton. You can put a candle in there. Oh, tea light candlestick hold candle holder. It's so pretty. I love the green. And I know my camera's not doing it justice. Mm hmm. So number 60, um, $22.
Number 61 is, whoops, that's not supposed to be on there. I have a whole bunch of these sitting right here. And one decided to attach itself to my little vase. So there are no maker's marks on this, but it has a pontal scarf. So it is blown glass. And it's an amber and white ruffle top vase. Handkerchief vase. And I know we had another one in here. What was that one? Let me see if I can find it real quick. Benton. Oh. I don't know what that was. So we will have this for $14. Am Amber white dot vase $22 oh my gosh what did I just say $14 so an amber vase with white dot drip I don't know I really don't know what this pattern is called green another money bowl you are so right you are so right i love them for money bowls and truthfully i have the little green candles if somebody specifically says money bowl and buys that i will send you the can a candle with it a money bowl candle um so yeah 14 dollars. no maker's marks no chips or cracks just the pontal scar very pretty That was number 61. Number 62. This little green ashtray. $8. I had a stack of these. Um... I think that they were from the same person when we purchased them. They were just, they happened to be different shades of green. And this is the very last one we have left. No chips or cracks. No maker's marks. It's just a cool green. <laughs> a cool mini money bowl. Or paintbrush holder. Trinket dish. Makeup brushes. Maybe you want to set your makeup brush down. So number 62, $8. Let me take a quick peek to make sure I didn't forget anything else over here. It looks like we have gotten everything. I did bring out some vintage baby shoes. I have three pair of these. These are great for uh, vintage decorating, uh, maybe decorating a baby's nursery, vintage vignette style. Uh, I have no idea what size these are, or even if it matters. So, I do not see size. These are like baby's first walking shoes. And we're going to put these up for $8. These ones were looking up. He saved from the bronze fashion. You remember that when everybody was putting their baby shoes and dipping them in bronze. And um, I think you got like a picture holder. You could put, you could do all kinds of things with these. They sat on your, you know, like a console set, a TV console set. Yeah. 
to save your baby shoes. So these ones have a box. These are not the box. This is not the box that goes with it. Uh, Mrs. Day's medium blue. These are white. But these are stinking adorable. Look at how tiny. Again, so this is the second pair. Um, Eight dollars. Here's the bottoms. They're so cute. They're so stinking adorable. And the very last pair we have are in another box. Petty Walks. Kid Shoes. $8. These ones were well used. This baby walked all over the place. Look, even walked, almost walked out of his soles. Can you see where they're splitting? These are so cute. And they're so stiff. It's hard to believe that we put our little babies in these for their first time shoes. But these ones have an adorable little cutout on the front too. So, you know, they were styling back then. And here's the box. Does not have a top. These were what our doctors recommended for our children's very first shoes. These hard soles. Slippery. Oh my gosh, were they slippery? Poor little kids. So again, number that one is number 64, eight dollars. I have these two things sitting in front of me as well, and I'm pretty sure I didn't show them. So number 65 is a pie whistle. Is a pie whistle. $12. Look, it's a horse. And there's a little hole in the top. Now this one is signed. F right. So twelve dollars for the little horse pie whistle. Um, pretty sure it just whistles. Um, per sure doesn't sound like a horse. No chips or cracks, and the only marks, of course, are the signature F right. So twelve dollars the horse pie whistle. And our last item is number 66. This adorable little pig. Whoops, we don't need the pen. Look at that face. Look how cute. He's so sincere. I mean, I almost look like he blinked. Um, I believe there's a maker's mark on the bottom. It looks like HR, maybe JR. Not really sure about that, but he is a super adorable little piglet, and we will do him for eight dollars. Whoopsie, let's keep him in view. Look, no tips or cracks, so his ears are in perfect condition. His little nose and his little oh, so his little feet. Let me take that back. It looks like that one has a little paint chip on it. So eight dollars, piglet, little piglet. And that's it. That's it, you guys. I believe that is all. So two hours, fifteen minutes. Check my numbers. Numbers sixty-four. Oh, yeah. You're right. It is number 67. Uh, but, 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 but 
my pie whistle was 66. Oh, yeah, because I put two pair of shoes under one number. Thank you, Tammy, for keeping me straight. Okay, so you're right. Piglet was number 67. I fixed it. And I'm pretty sure that is it. That is the last <laughs> of our items for today's sale, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for two hours and 15 minutes. It was great. What a great time. Don't forget, if you're not happy with the prices, feel free to send me an email. I will be happy to work with you. We accept PayPal, uh, all forms. So just, just send me an email and we'll do everything we can to accommodate you and how you would like to pay for your items. Don't forget, these are wonderful for Mother's Day, Mother's Day gifts. And we're going to have sales, so we still have a little bit of time to get things shipped to you on time. Is there anything I forgot? Tammy, did I forget anything? Everybody have a great Wednesday, middle of the work week. Watch her be like, Tracy, it's Tuesday. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me one bit. Well, Tammy, I think you're right. I think we got it all. We can't think of anything else. Check out all the links in the description below. It is hump day. Thank goodness. I, I was hoping I was right. You just never know. Um, so again, you guys, check out all the links in the description box below. Um, there are links to all of our selling platforms, as well as a link to an email, our email. Um, I will have an iCard in one of the corners if you are interested in any of the Cassie Rocks stuff that is for my daughter. Check out the iCard and all the information uh, for you will be in that if you are interested. Um, I guess we're just going to end the stream and uh, see you on our next sale or our next video. You guys have a wonderful day. Happy later. Thank you so much for being here. I'm